Well, let me ask you a question. How often do you wear sunglasses? Uh, maybe you wear them all the time when you step outside, or perhaps only during the summer when you're at the beach or by a lake and the sun is shining down on you. Well, I myself tend to wear sunglasses often, not only because of my sensitive eyes, but out of habit living in Florida for a number of years. What if I ask you to walk out in the middle of the day, uh, put on your sunglasses, look up in the sky, and tell me how many stars you could see. It seems like a strange question to ask you. Why would I do that? How would it impact your life? And what does that have to do with faith? Let's talk about it as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled Faith for Friday, April 17th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Genesis chapter 15, verses 5 through 13. Our scripture verse is, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. That's John chapter 20, verse 29 from the New International Version. Our thought for the day is this. I will trust God with my future. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotional. Log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional shares the promises that took Abram to Abraham. Uh, perhaps you've heard this story before in Sunday school or in a sermon, where God shows up and promises Abraham, saying, look in the sky, count the number of stars, that's how many descendants will come from you. That's my promise. While I'm rereading the scripture again, the author of today's devotional realized it wasn't a problem of counting. Well, sure, if you and I sat in our backyard in the middle of the night and looked up at the night sky, counting the stars would be a problem. There's too many. No, this was a problem of trusting. It was daytime. The sun was shining. Looking in the sky, you could see no stars. How do you trust a promise then when there's no evidence for it? Our scripture verse for the day is of the same perspective where Jesus shares with Thomas, who was wise and asked for proof that Jesus was resurrected. He said to Thomas, you're blessed because you believe, because you've seen me. But there's a different blessing for those who believe but have never seen me. But what about you and I? It's easy to count blessings when we can see them. Look at how God's provided here or there or over there. Look at how God is providing. I see him at work day by day in my life. What if faith is trusting God's promises because of who he is? What if our prayer life today was trusting that God is doing things in a world where we can't see? At the time of recording this, our lives are affected by things we can't see. A virus, something that's isolated people in homes, that shut down businesses, that changed our world. All things that we can't see. And some of us have a problem of trust. How do we trust the advice we're getting? How do we trust that we're doing the right thing? What if faith is that way? Trusting in a God who always fulfills his promises. What if our prayer life is that way today? What if our hope is that way? saying, God, who we can see, we also trust you in things we can't see. What if we had that kind of faith today? Let's close in the prayer found in our devotional today. Faithful God, help us to trust that you will fulfill your promises. In that trust, we will walk faithfully with you. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org 
plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features, like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the upper room.